we uh, get the screen share up and refresh them on what it is that we're trying to do. Yeah, so, exactly. Do, do please try to explain why this is called Windows 95 Insanity. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole idea is that uh, Windows 95 is uh, rather dated, and so my goal was to run, uh, to get, log into Facebook and make a Facebook post uh, using Windows 95 and only using the software that is available there. So uh, if I want to install a new browser, which is the way I intend to go about it, I have to do so using, um, like I have to acquire it using whatever software is there. So uh, an example of this would be if I was to uh, put uh, a newer browser onto a CD-ROM image and then mount that CD-ROM image on the virtual machine, that would be cheating. So, uh, so basically, you're trying to see what your grandmother's computer running Windows 95 would be able to do on today's internet. Exactly. But, so, your, but your grandmother is quite clever, and she does know actually about certain ways of going around it. Like, for example, if you, uh, one of the things that would not be running on, on, on Internet Explorer normally would be the whole JavaScript or Ajax thing, because sockets and, uh, and that, sort of, uh, that sort of technology is available to the... Um, through the JavaScript would not be available, but if you go to a mobile website, then you would be able to do that. Yes. Are so, you allowing yourself then to modify things like user agents or not? I think, well, I mean, this is something that you could do on the machine. So as long as I can modify the user agent using software that I would have on that machine, then I don't see any problem with doing that. Do you then allow also yourself to develop some sort of program to actually I, use it. On the I did wonder about that because I do actually have uh, Visual Basic 6 for Windows. Uh, not too sure how the socket support is on that. I've never it's played actually, it. Around. It's actually good enough. Okay. Uh, I, could, I could actually uh, build. Um, yeah, I could actually build. Um, I've completely lost my words. That's a viable way of doing it. I, I did some socket work with VB6 years ago, and um, I, it may not be the best implementation, but it works. It does everything that would need to be able to do HTTP 1.1 on it. In strict theory, all you need is socket in, socket out, and regex in the middle, and you'll be OK. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you thinking regex for in this case? Uh, modifying the user agent. So just a search replace. Ah, oh, I see what you mean. Oh, interesting. I, I don't know. I mean, th that's what I would see, do if I could, if I had the equivalent of Netcat yeah. and, uh, uh, you know, pipe it. That's what I would do to change a user agent. Yeah. Now, I see, don't know how viable such a solution, such a technical solution would go in, uh, in on a Windows 95 machine. But can, can you fire, can you fire Internet Explorer to see what, Yes. Hang us out because. Okay. So let's have a look at this. So if I remember rightly, I've been through. This the doesn't wizard. make me feel any younger, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I've been through the wizard already. So here's our first one. MSN doesn't want to go. So just to prove that this actually does work, here is example.com. Now watch how it looks. There we go. So you notice we've got uh, all of the CSS. Yeah, yeah. Showing oh up my God. <laughs> Did we really use the internet when it looked like that? <laughs> I remember like the little logo up here and... Uh, uh, well, I was looking... I mean, do you know the problem is that we thought it was amazing back then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. So what, 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 what big site are you going to try? Okay, so, example, let's go to google.com. Whoops, not if I go to google.com. That's not going to work. Let's just try that. Oh, this is before they introduced that annoying thing um, where if you cancelled a request, it would blat out your address bar. Um, it actually kept it for me. I like. There we go. That's what Google did. So I'm not sure if you can actually see that on the streaming or not, but effectively the uh, it's uh, flicking between opening www.google.co.uk and um, something. It's in an infinite redirect loop. Oh, it's getting its sneakers on a twist because of the it cannot handle properly the, the redirect requests. Exactly. So this just I haven't tried. Google. So Google is broken for Windows ninety five people. 
Yep, it is indeed. Let's just really try .co.uk. That doesn't help the grandmas. Okay, so let's try google.co.uk forward slash m. Yeah. No, that's still not going. So let's. So if we go to yahoo.com, see we're not we're not doing a whole lot better. Uh, if we go to bing.com, not not happening. Uh, if we go to msn.com, not happening. If we go to microsoft.com. Oh. <laughs> we have we have a teeny bit of problem. current user agent string appears to be from an automated process. If this is correct, please think. <laughs> okay, so they think that they think we're a bot. <laughs> so that means basically Microsoft still uses Windows 95 as a user agent on their bots. I think it's probably they don't explicitly recognize it. Now, watch this as I now go through oh, and... Blimey. Yeah, that's all the error, JavaScript. Error, that it error, 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 error. Okay, I think we're out of errors. Also, I notice scroll doesn't work on this. So now... Oh, we have links. <laughs> wow, awesome. Actually, I wonder. Now, let's just see if we can find a search box. Here we go. Um, it, so it, it, it did support posts, so it should work. Error. <laughs> hey, only one error this time. Okay, let's, whoops. Um, let's see if we can find... Some content. So I thought, well, hang on, maybe we can download an, uh, an early, a more recent version of uh, Internet Explorer. So, okay, try, try for, which, which version of Firefox would have, or was it still Netscape back in the day? It would have been Netscape, but I think Firefox could be an interesting one to try because essentially we're just running 32 bit Windows. So, one of the very early versions. So, let's just open up a new window. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Hang on, can we open up a new window? I'm sure I found a new window thing in this before. No, no, these didn't have tabs. Ah, that's how I did it. I'd go here, and then I'd go here, and then to here, boink. Maybe I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. Okay, so let's just try this. Um, so we were saying... Uh, you, you had no tabs, you didn't have the possibility for multiple windows unless there was a pop-up. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I managed to open up another one before, but um, what was it? it was getfirefox.com, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I think There's so. There's no way with Firefox's update possible. Uh, Firefox's update policy. There's no way I'm going to be able to download one from the official site. Um. Mozilla.org. Mozilla.org. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Then... Um, let me see if I can... Uh, Okay, yeah. Mm. <laughs> now I'm trying okay. to get to Mozilla, see if I can get the, the, the executable, but it's automatically giving me the toggle because I'm on a Linux machine here. So it's going to do the same from the other machine. So, hmm. Okay. No, no. So let's see if we can find an FTP um, download for it. Um, so as you can see, I think um, I'm. I'm not going to restrict myself to only being able to find stuff on this box because I think while it would be possible, I think we would. Uh, uh, Have you actually tried just seeing how Facebook would react to it? Oh yeah, yeah. Facebook itself. Um, I should have done that right at the start. Um, Facebook isn't happy. No, the browser is not happy about the gunk that it's getting from Facebook. Okay. <laughs> do, do, do you see why though? Uh, Unable to open, 
Oh, it can actually not open the connection because it's actually the. It doesn't know HTTP is. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> that is indeed a bit of a problem. Ah, yeah, that would, that would break. That would break most of the internet nowadays. It does. <laughs> Yeah, that's the point. I, I, but but people were doing e-commerce sort of stuff on Windows ninety five. No, at one stage. Oh yes, but um, uh, no. It's, H it, yes, HTTPS, that's, that, that was handy. HTTPS is only really like it, it's been around for a long time, but it's only yeah, really but no, been. But uh, it was first as an extension, and it was first Netscape. I remember it was this SSL mm. secure socket layer stuff. Yep. That uh, that sort of was used. And then it became part of the of the URI, if I remember well. But I'm not yeah. sure. Okay. So let's see if we can find uh, a download of um, uh, of Netscape or Firefox or something like that. I think that'll be a really good bet. I have tried on a um, on another virtual machine. I did try installing Opera. Um, basically, I thought, well, with if, in another copy of the virtual machine. I sort of thought, right, I'll go and try and find out what software actually runs on um, it. I'm just and sending you via site an FTP site which has all the Firefox releases. Ah, interesting. Uh, um, you have even uh, classics like 0 0.8 from uh, 10th of February 2004. Goodness me. <laughs> so there is, uh, there is another site. Uh, so it, it's interesting to see that that actually is an HTTP, not FTP. But I might be able to do it as FTP. Uh, well, I did. I did. Uh, you should be able to then change the change the um, the protocol, and it should reply. And it should reply. Let's try it. Let's um, try. Let's try HTTP. But if not, you can always put FTP as a protocol. Yeah, actually, yeah. Let's try HTTP first because um, that would be uh, well. We're less likely to get success, but I think it would be interesting to just uh, see how basic the HTTP is there. We'll say how whether they've got uh, HTTP one point zero allowed. And I'm just going to put this into my clipboard. Okay, that's not terribly surprising. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, it Please be open. Uh, Promising. Uh, oh, yes. look at this. Okay, so uh, I reckon. Um, uh, no, scroll to the four, top. Scroll to the top. The the four, first the ones we're looking for are the are the rights right at the beginning, like fifteenth September two thousand four. How cute is that? <laughs> Um, however, I remember using. Um, oh, sorry, this is Firefox. Sorry, I was thinking of uh, Netscape Navigator. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, we want an early version of this. So let's start. Oh, hang on, first. Favorites, add to favorites. Uh, and this is Firefox releases. Good, good thing it had bookmarks, you know. Yeah. Um, wow. Oh, it's got the tarballs and everything. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I guess you want the XEs. I think that's the way to go. <laughs> so we're going to download a random EXE from the internet and run it. Uh, children, do not try this at home. It's always bad to run like, get a random EXE from the internet, especially from a dodgy <laughs> FTP site. And the first thing you do is run it. <laughs> uh, okay, what are we doing wrong here? It may be there's something in the path which is upsetting it. That would be a shame. Mm -hmm. Although there is an FTP client. Let's okay. Well, if if this doesn't work via the browser, yeah, bring up FTP bring client. up the, the command prompt. There was an FTP client on the box, but then we don't know, we don't know. We'll have to assume that it's an anonymous FTP, since the browser managed to connect. Yes. And um, that also could be pound prompt. Let's just try another version. Um, I expect the time for our little friend Wireshark. Let's try it. Uh... Actually, let's go as far as one. And we'll go one thirty-two. 
Oh, they, they actually tidied up things a bit. I mean, that's a bit more clear, you know? Yeah. Like they have proper OS library versions, and they have different releases per time, and so on. So, uh, yeah. Go okay. try the zip file. I don't think there's zip support. Uh, no, but just to, da just to download, and you should have a, a... Oh, you think you need WinZip? I think I need WinZip on Windows. Ah, that would be that would be difficult to get nowadays. Yes. Uh, okay, so let's try FTP uh, dot and it was F I see yeah FTP. Okay, connect and it was FTP dot Mozilla dot org. What have I done wrong there? I'm sure it was, no, it's not connect. Mm. Can you see what it is? What the command is to connect to the host? I might, well, actually, I know I can do it from the command line, so I might just... Just, just quit and do FTP and put the FTP site directly. Yeah, okay, let's go. Uh, and if not, it's an open command. I think it was open. Oh, I think you're right. But anyway, let's uh, FTP dot Mozilla... Did you notice the command I just ran a moment ago? Dosky, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So, um, um, right now looking at a uh, FTP trace of well, a, a, um, a trace, a network trace to actually try to get the password that. Uh, Today's version of Chrome would actually be using to to access that site. Okay. Uh, I just did that. Uh, and then I'll reload. Oh no, that's okay. Um, then uh, let's close this. Clear this thing. Oh, interesting. Um, there's a uh, actually a. Uh, uh, I was just reading the message that they've got here. Um, so actually, I think it would be worthwhile adhering to that. So uh, I'm just going to quickly connect to that. Yeah, here we go. Follow TCP stream on FTP data. That's all very nice. But this is the directory listing. And what I want is the not the FTP data, but the actual handshake. Ah, yes, here we go. You need to basically use uh, the user is is to be anonymous. Okay, how do you spell that? Because I can't. <laughs> A N O N Y M O. O U S. Ah. Press return, and then the password here. It's actually using Chrome at example.com. That's what uh, Google Chrome uses nowadays. But any any valid uh, email address should do the trick. That that those were the rules of engagement back then. Please visit. Okay. Now you need to say anonymous again. Chrome at you are right. Anonymous. And then here you go. I've, I've never been asked for that. I was, sorry, I, I don't remember ever being asked for that. Uh, oh yeah, the, the uh, anonymous um, yeah, the anonymous login was always uh, anonymous as a username and then a valid email address. Right. And, yeah, you know that that bit uh, I remember, but I don't remember being asked for the uh, account again afterwards. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's a new one. Yeah. In, in any case. Um, uh, Kidoki. LS. Uh, let's use. Okay, then uh, then we're not in. <laughs> I think you're right. Um, so let's. Then then try pass pass V. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do we uh, go back to the old one? Or? Yeah, yeah, that works. That works. Um, so. Anonymous. Uh, yeah, you put an extra E there. He's not going to like that. Uh, Quit. Without <laughs> the yeah, That works. 
And now you put Chrome at example.com. There we go. I told you I couldn't uh, spell anonymous. <laughs> no. Uh, now you want to go to pub and uh, then so, uh, mozilla.org. Oh, actually. Then you get Firefox. Just, just before we do, yeah. uh, it just occurred to me, I wonder if Netscape is in here. Netscape? Yeah, so um, I should be in Mozilla.org now. No, I'm not. Okay. Why? Oh, I see. Um, so, <laughs> Mozilla.org. See what Mozilla.org... Uh, See what Mozilla.org points to. Ah, uh, very handy. <laughs> and then uh, uh, Firefox and releases. All the versions in there. And before we were looking at which one was it? Zero point eight. Uh, zero point eight was the first one we tried. Let's try something which a little is a little less beta, shall we? I was thinking one point zero. Oh, you 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 sure that would run on that thing? Maybe. Well, it's the same sort of time period, so I think I think it would. Okay. Uh. Mind you, we're still going to have the same problem with JavaScript support. I mean, no one actually thought about using sockets on that. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh... So Ajax is going to fly out the window. You, user agent replacement is going to be pretty much the same. What you may have is actually a browser that may be able to handle a bit better redirects, but I'm not sure if HTTP, HTTP 1.1 was actually even experimental on... Uh, no, I'm sure 1.1 would have been in use by then. Um, but uh, at least, if we at least have HTTPS, um, that should be good. Because remember, this is... Uh, um, by, by sort of the mid-2000s, which we're downloading from here, uh, Firefox, uh, Firefox is quite late in the game. So... So remember that Windows 95 came out in 96. Mm -hmm. um, so we're talking nine years later. Yeah, that's true. There's a fair amount of stuff that happened in those years. Yeah, so we're going to be better off. Um, so it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how much better off. Mm -hmm. uh, because we're still talking, uh, what, eight years? Yeah. Nine, nine years? No, uh, and, in, and, in those years and in those years, things, very, things went very quickly indeed. Yeah, so um, it, it will be very interesting to see. So uh, I have lost my connection with the. You've been kicked out. So let's try this again. Hopefully, um, I haven't been uh, deemed a bot. Okay, um, so we want to get into Firefox. Uh, first into Pub. Thank you. And then into releases, slash 1.0. We are there. Okay, and it was en dash gb. Uh, now I'm just going to um, get the setup uh, Yes. We'll just make that big so you can actually see it. Um, uh, why oh, I need to hit, hit that? There we go. Um, we'll go oh back. yeah, downloads um, were so infrequent you actually had to make your own directory. Okay, and we'll just do a dir again just to sort of keep our connection alive. Ah, interesting. I wonder if this is spaces that throw up uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, very possible. It may not escape properly. <laughs> um, so this will be fire. 
box. I think it would help if you put some quotes around it. Let's try it with escape character, but then if it doesn't work, we try the quotes. I think we have to do the quotes because um, that is going to be... Uh, we, we could do a double backslash, but I don't think that's... Uh, no, it won't be... Let's try the quotes first. Um, so... My... Uh, And the kids, this is what you should not be doing at home, getting a random executable from the internet. That could well be because I took too long. Um, let's try again. Um, so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to put... Ah, that's a good point. So I'm going to go like this. Note bad. Woohoo! We're getting all the toys out. Yep. <laughs> this is turning um, into a proper hacking session. <laughs> uh, and then we want to get into pub slash um, Firefox. Thank you. Firefox slash releases slash uh, 1.0 slash engsgb. Uh, and I think that was it. Nope. Ah, oh, and I've lost it. Okay. I will get into the... Uh, I'll get into the directory and take it from a PWD. I want here. Okay, so I want to take this and we're just going to grab this so that we've got it for later. Uh, enter and like. It's nice to know that copy paste works like today, just like back in the day, exactly the same. Oh, actually, they did have uh, their control keys in here. That's good. There was something else that was. Oh, yeah. Control F, that was what was missing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, let's do get. And can I go back? No, I have to do it this way. So once again, whoops. Yay, we have a download. <laughs> and can you see, um, can I point to it with my local? Yes, I can. So you can see here, we've got uh, network activity there. That is actually happening. Whoa. This is really being a trip down memory lane. <laughs> I, ran, I ran Windows 95 for about uh, three months, and then I started not liking it because I was breaking it, and then... Uh, I switched to NT for about a year and a half, and then uh, I have been ever since mid-97, forever, running Linux. Yep. But, I mean, th this is Windows 95 connected to the Internet like you've never saw it back then, because this is a, f a fast Internet connection, and you, didn't get, you don't get the noise from the modem, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Now, I had two thoughts when I looked at this. One, look at the size of it. We're looking at nearly 5 megs there, so that would have been huge for then, but not much for now. The other thing is, even from then, um, I was expecting a download of about 20 meg or so, and I'm just wondering, is this going to be actually a net install, and is it going to be trying to download things from the net, and we therefore, uh, well, is the stuff still there that it's trying to download? So you're saying you're better off getting the zip file and praying for a version of 
wins it? Mm, I oh, think oh. we need. I think we need to try the XE first. Or oh, would you? Or would you rather? Or would you? Wow. Woohoo! But that was damn slow. I mean, come on, five megs and it took <laughs> nearly two minutes. Yes, yeah, a lot of speed. Ah. Oh. Now that could be. It could be uh, the protocol. Or sorry, not the protocol. Um, the way the program is written just simply wasn't designed. Maybe it was taking too smaller chunks from the uh, TCP stack. Um, maybe uh, it was. Come on. Okay. It, it can't be the fact that we're doing a hangout over the same connection that is bringing that sort of speed down. No, no, no way at all. Um, it's all. It is possible that um, there's other people doing things on the connection, but I think it's actually just simply this uh, FTP client wasn't designed for high speeds. I could be wrong. Interesting, but yeah, th those speeds really do have a certain nostalgia to them. Now, uh, um, what I, I need don't to do think you managed to make it to the downloads uh, directory. I agree. So we would have copied it there. You reckon? Maybe not. Oh. Unix uh, stuff. Um, what did I download? Uh, just type LCD, yes, need. Lowercase. Your cap lock is on. Yeah, uh, I'm using Synergy and uh, it, oh ah, cool. <laughs> then minimize all windows quickly, and we will have the icon of the download on our desktop. <laughs> Glorious moment. One more, one more. Yay! Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> okay, we need zero point eight. Hi. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is this is for, um, I'm, I'm not. Actually... I'm not gonna start hunting for that DLL on the internet. Sorry, that was never my idea of fun. <laughs> I I remember back then um, when these things were commonly available. It was uh, you could do it, but it would be uh, it would be painful now. Um, so now this is probably disconnected by now. Yep. And we're going to take this and make it zero point one zero. Is it like and that? And and then under that one, you'll have to take out the um, uh, the the Windows thirty two. Do they have ENGB? I don't think. No, they don't have ENG. It didn't it didn't get that organized. Okay, so let's start this. Uh, non I'm looking uh, for the executable non file. And I'll, I'll copy paste you the name. Oh, well, no. You don't need the executable file. But would you rather get the XPI? Uh, what is that? I don't know. It sounded like something you need to install. I don't remember what those files were airing on. Um, are you talking about the? Uh, you're not talking about the DLL file before. You're talking no, about no. something else. No, um, I wonder if I can go like this. Damn it. The, uh, in case you're wondering, the keyboard map is um, not the same. I yeah, yeah, that's, that, uh, that's what happens. Try this again. Um, I think I I could go and change it, but I think I need to do a, a reboot to uh, make it happen. Damn it! Well, 
And the good thing is that at least the connection is not is not dropping. <laughs> because if you had all these problems with the FTP, and on top of that, once in a while, uh, you know, oh, you know yeah. being reset, uh, the internet back in those days was really for not for the faint-hearted. It was yeah, FTP was not fun on that. Um, but but it yeah, still, it BTP. still, it still was far better than BBS, you know. Actually, do yes. you have, do you still have an old modem? And we should try actually a BBS if there's still one arm roping, you know. One uh, one round. See if we can use something like a, a, ter a terminal emulator and, a, and an old modem. I do have I do have an old fifty six k modem. Um, then oops. then I think we need to do another session with a, trying to connect to a BBS. I think that would be really cool, actually. If there's still one running, I don't think people are running BBSs anymore. We could easily uh, create one. Yeah, that would. Oh, I'm um, sorry, Juan. I just and, realized. And route the call via Skype. <laughs> sorry, what's that? Yeah, host the BBS like I hosted here at, uh, on the Netherlands, and then you call via Skype using the modem to actually get the stuff across. <laughs> Interesting. I don't think Skype would have the um, uh, the bandwidth in the. Um, like like the actual the actual bandwidth, I th I think the digital compression would be uh, too much for it. Do you do you reckon? Because voice goes around okay, so uh, yeah. I'm but not saying it would be the fastest, but but remember the voice that goes across is optimized for our for our ears, whereas um, the um, ah that's what's holding it up. Cool. Um, whereas the um, sorry, I'm just going to get this going, so then... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Every now and then my focus is coming out, I don't know why. Uh, you got two quotes. Thank you. No, take out that quote. Uh, I need it, I believe. Oh, no, you it? don't, no, because you're putting two quotes. I'm only putting in one. Where's the other other one coming from? The other one is in your paste string. Thank you. I actually have to be moving the mouse for the paste to work. Close. There we go. Yay! We have another download that's going to end okay. up on the. Okay. So we were talking about something. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So the. Um, so, Skype. Uh, operates with the assumption that it is human ears which are at the other side. And the yeah. human ears only have sort of very set frequencies that it's actually listening on, which is why you're able to achieve so much compression in audio because you're just playing a few key frequencies. It's sort of like RGB for color in that you have a yeah, few key things and then you make up everything. It's, from that. it's similar then to what happens with mobile phones. Now you have the GSM encoding standard for voice and then. That, yeah. that, cuts, that has a tendency to cut out most of the other stuff. But you listen, you listen to the amount of noise that's coming through when you're talking to someone on Skype. There's all sorts of squawks and stuff which is happening in the background. And I think uh, I, it would be interesting to try, but I think a modem would get royally stuffed up from that. Mm, well, the problem is how do you how do you how do you set up the dialing? Because you, you would need to. You wouldn't need to because all you need to do is um, so you could set up the you could physically wire it into the sound card, and you need to take a little bit of care um, with the right sort of level of uh, resistance to make sure that you're not putting in too much input into the microphone socket. So that side would be easy. Uh, dialing you would dial manually, um, so you could do the uh, uh, you could you wouldn't even need to dial. You could just select your friend and then uh, plonk it through that way. And then um, it would be a matter of going ATD, I think it was, to listen, and ATZ to... Uh, so, so ATA and ATD. So uh, here we go, we've just finished. So AT, uh, ATA, I think, was answer, and ATD was dial, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Well, we can still find that on the internet. But come on, yeah. stop. I want to see the... New error message that we're going to get with that version of Firefox. Uh, have I just downloaded the same version? No, it's the second one. It's a PR. 
version. But it, there was 1.0 and then 1.0 PR. Yes, I I was which was, which was the 0.8 because that was the pre-release. Ah, gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> Plonk. <laughs> okay, so now we're screwed. Uh, okay, let's try Net Netscape Navigator. I reckon that's because version 4 used to work really well. Um, you, where, um, where can we find Netscape? I'm sure we can. I'm just going to release it out of that. Let's see what we can find. There's no Netscape at the FTP server that we're looking at. No, but there's bound to be another. Surely not. Is that we're gonna get a history page if we if we Google now for for Netscape. Yeah, yeah. I've just I've just found a potential. I'm just uh, seeing if it's right. Okay, I thought I'd never type this anymore. Netscape download. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Netscape.nl Mandriva, and there's another one on CNET. Yeah. Work. So I'm just bouncing around trying to find ftp.netscape.com. Let's just see. Let's just humor ourselves on that. Uh, yeah, but it now belongs to AOL. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that was uh, that that did happen. So uh, there's a pub directory. There's a Netscape, Netscape 6, 7, 8, and 9. Uh, 6 I might just... work at a stretch. Um, it was a lot more resource hungry. I may have to reboot the VM with more memory if we're going to do that. Then, yeah. then let's just try the normal Netscape. So the Netscape.com, um, it looks as though they don't have that uh, open anymore. Although, let's just quickly go to the web browser. FTP.netscape. Ah, damn it. I've just sent you a link by the chat. It's actually the same trick. It's a, it's an HTTP, but it should be reachable by FTP. Okay, I'll just quickly try this. Let's see. Let's see again. That's all right. <laughs> also, <laughs> just to see it like that on top of a grey background doesn't make you, does it doesn't it make you feel warm and fuzzy inside all of a sudden? <laughs> ah, blind. I was, thinking, I was thinking I could choose, um, like remembering I'm in sixteen color, I could choose some horrific uh, color scheme. No, no, please don't do that. No, that uh, that's that's wrong. <laughs> okay, so now let's take this and we're going to go AOL dash or <laughs> well, this looks le legit. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking. Why Why does it say connection refused? Uh, apparently they don't have uh, ports. That's not, that's not friendly from them. Link.net. Yeah, no, it says the same from my uh, from my Linux box. 
Okay, so now let's try. Uh... Yeah, nope. Doesn't want to be nice. Okay, so. Um... Would you like me to cheat and then. Oh no, I don't have any available boxes. Um, See, I could easily set up an FTP server, but... Um, no, no, it's not a question of setting an FTP server. You, you can just download it to your own box and then make it available via... Uh, no, uh, I was thinking HTTP, but that was not going to work, because it really was yeah. like... Well, no, and I've, I have successfully browsed to an, uh, my own HTTP server. Um, okay. But, um, I just set that up using Nginx, and that was that was no trouble. But um, as soon as I'm doing that, I'm jump starting it using um, modern technology. Um, I completely agree. It defeats the purpose of the exercise. Yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, um, I, I've just lost my place. Where am I going? That's right. It's Windows. Win thirty two S could be interesting as well. And oh, did you just do you see what I see there? The uh, Internet MSI... Explorer two. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna get that. That looks interesting. <laughs> you think it's gonna be much of an improvement? I mean, would we be able to run it? That is we're, the question. We're on Internet Explorer four, so two can't be any worse. <laughs> Look at the date. Look at the date on that. Oh God. I wasn't even in high school. That, that will actually be two. This, this is going to make the challenge even more interesting. No, sorry. I was in high school then. I was in high school. 95, I was in high school. 97 is when I started university. So Netscape 3 was around the time that it all came out. But you could try Netscape 3, actually. I think uh, Netscape 3 will definitely run on this. I used to run... Um, I used to run uh, 4.72, uh, or no, sorry, 4.74. Um, I ran on an unpatched Windows 95 box, so it will it will run uh, if we can find 4.74 or 4.72 or something like that. That would be really cool. Um, let's do in 32 e 3 p Notice the speed difference. Yeah. So we were at, we we're at forty something before. Blimey, the the hours spent in front of a prompt like that really. <laughs> yeah, no progress bar or anything. No, but that, that was okay. You had the perfect time to go make yourself a sandwich, have a cup of coffee, and then come back. Ah, oh, you know what we need. Do you remember that old sheep program where you'd have the sheep running around um, on the taskbar and everything? Oh God, yes. <laughs> oh, that has just finished. Let's go and try it. Now, yeah, but this is beginning. This is really beginning to look like a proper. You know, desktop like the ones you had back in the day. You know, full of icons, full of crap all over the place. Yep. <laughs> there we go. So that will be interesting to try sometime soon. And here, us. hey, oh, it's working. Do we want to install Call Talk? What was that about? I don't remember. I can't remember what it is. With real time um, telephone data and chat capabilities. I've never used that crap. Well, it's a virtual machine. I've got a clean uh, copy of it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, how cute was that? Come on. <laughs> 
Uh, you even have an indicator for how much disk space you had on your little install thingy. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. It's adorable. <laughs> Would you like to enable cool talk watch So basically, every bit of software that you installed came with a bunch of crap associated with it. That that hasn't changed. Mm. Oh yeah, no, it's Netscape got really bad for this at one point. Um, do we want to install? Let's say yes. And uh, what is your yeah, let's see if that works. Mm, doubt um, it. Uh, we won't read you to read me now. Um, okay, and we're going to accept. Oh, look at the icon! Oh my God! <laughs> Okay, no bootmark file, that's fine, it's the first time you're running. Oh, I actually wow. can't remember what it is. Okay, oh. remember how big the toolbars used to be? Yeah, it's hideous. Like you could fit you could fit four layers of tabs in that. <laughs> okay, okay, now we have now we have what? <laughs> Well, you don't like JavaScript, do you? <laughs> but, but Google have got the, one of the cleanest JavaScripts in the industry. How come? How come you don't like it? And well, I have to go through each one of these areas. If I remember rightly, I have to go through the areas in turn. Like if I go this one here, oh no, I can do it. No, no, I, th I think you. Yeah, it's it's not that annoying. We definitely want to get a newer version on here. But now, we but should be I able don't to think you're going to be able to run much of a newer version on it. I think I think we will. Um, now, that we, now that we're here, I think we can now browse fairly much any page. Um, so now, whoops. Let's try yeah. Facebook then. Really, I mean, we should do this with a, I don't know, some really old computer like a PDP 11 or something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Pre internet stuff, only FTP. So this, this definitely won't have tabs, but at least does have a new window, so that's fine. So let's now go to, uh, let's see if this works. Okay, that's fine. That's just simply uh, we don't support the. Um, the so cipher. We, we, we support, yeah, we don't support the cipher, but we do support HTTPS. So. Um, no, but you're equally screwed then. Well, uh, not necessarily. If you can't negotiate a common cipher, then there's no. You cannot. Uh, you cannot set up. Hmm? What? I think it's not liking any JavaScript at all. I think you're right. I wonder if I can turn off JavaScript. Well, back in the day, that had a tendency to improve the web. There we go. That's the ordering thing that I was talking about. Yeah, if you close, yeah, okay. If you go for the closing windows instead of clicking on OK. Oh, blimey. Um. Now the Alt F4 isn't working, so I'm actually having to zoom. Oh, interesting. I just noticed where the, uh, hang on, what's going on here? Let's try this again. There we go. Ah, I understand, okay. That was my uh, synergy setup, which was causing me grief there. I've got a, I've got a completely default synergy setup at the moment. I haven't gone and optimized it. Let's go and see if we can turn off JavaScript. If you have any suggestions on where I should be looking, I don't think this is it at all. No clue. Uh, and no, I don't think it's there. 
Did it have no security options? What about edit and under edit some? No. Security preferences. Oh, people weren't concerned about security then, I don't think. Uh, notice we're actually interesting. Just make sure we've got everything turned on uh, for SSL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, could you could you switch off JavaScript? I don't know. Um, languages, no, but that would be human languages. Ah, the best. Long. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Much better now. <laughs> okay, so now if we go to here, and if we come down, see, I tried a recent version of Opera, um, and it reckoned that it was going to work. It didn't work, but um, it occurred to me that, uh, like, you can download old, old versions of. Um, Opera, and if we can find those old versions, I reckon it could be quite. Uh, um, sorry, I just got distracted for a moment there. Yeah, if we can find those old versions, I think we uh, might do well. Can you try Facebook now that you enabled the the extra? I'm almost certain that will make no difference because I uh, chose uh, when I did that I did uh, it was just a MD5 based thing it wasn't an actual cipher okay can you now try the mobile site like m.facebook.com because mobile some mobile devices are now at the level of this stuff Okay, so that was closer, but didn't go. Uh, let's see if we can get. Oh, let's open the window. Look at the little raining meteorites on the little Netscape logo. <laughs> really. Wow. Okay, we're not getting anywhere there. Let's just go to here and go, whoops. We should try this with a something like a Slackware One distro, you know. Yes, I think we should. Because that was a, from around the same time, and okay, it may take us two days of prompt work to actually get a basic browser running. But <laughs> yeah, that would be a ah. Here we go. So now there's an older version somewhere. Show other versions. Tell me if you see what I'm looking for. Mm. Ah, select, select your operating system. There and you go. We want. Notice there's quite a list there. Mm -hmm. Go to Windows. Okay, let's just. Um, ah, look, this is. I thought it used to go much older than this. I, I guess they've. Uh, oh! Got down. Archive. Oh, this is this looks like an FTP directory. Uh, yes. Now, where do you have the Win? Win. What's that? 
Where do you have the Win32? This might be it. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Now, around about version 8, it got worthwhile. Um, or, sorry, ver version 8 was where um, it was uh, really good and um, probably still... Um, yeah, but if you look at that, that's 2007, 2006. I'm sure we're going to have the DLLs to run it. You're not sure we have what, sorry? The, the DLLs to run it on that machine. Because so far we've only managed to install stuff from up to basically 97. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it would be worth a try. Remember back then, Windows 95, Windows 95 hung around and 98 hung around for a long time. Well, Win32 has only been scrapped very recently, so if yeah. the core DLLs are still there, it should be fine. But, uh, oh, isn't it much better, the fact that you can just say, save? <laughs> but how is that? <laughs> Look, we have oh, a you get a progress bar. Look at that. This, I mean, come on. Going from what we had before to using Netscape was really a big difference in your internet experience at the time. <laughs> Look at that, you get a little progress bar, you can go get your coffee, get your sandwich, whatever, and then when you come back, you, you know exactly where you are. <laughs> and, oh, and I remember the old, the old modem fast. days. Was Look that? at the speed, it's blazing fast. <laughs> I remember the old modem days um, where, we, uh, where the f speed would fluctuate, and so your... Um, uh, the estimates were just going up and down, and people used to get so pissed off. I'm just going to get rid of some of these windows uh, since we don't need them at the moment. Um, as, as you can see, I don't really have excessive resolution. Whoops, I don't have excessive resolution to spare. Mm, no, but that was exactly the sort of resolution you had back then. I mean, you had a VGA screen, remember? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it may have been. 17 inch, which meant that you know the icons were really huge, but that's <laughs> that's what you got. Hey, this looks like it's installing. Okay, okay. Um, my yeah. No, let's go for the clutter on the desktop. Come on. <laughs> otherwise, it wouldn't. It, otherwise, it wouldn't feel like Windows 95. <laughs> wow, that's blazing fast. Mind you, when I was running this back in the day, it was a Pentium 2 pre-MMX with 32. Uh, it was one of the first 32-bit machines, like pure 32 bits. The first, um, the first machine I ran Windows 95 on was a 386DX40 running uh, 4 megs of RAM, and I think it had, I had a 1.6 gig uh, hard to skin it, but that wasn't naturally what was available in there. I had to run a drive overlay to make it work. No, I had a, I was running on a 32 meg box at the time, and uh, yeah, that was blazing fast at the time. Yeah. Okay, so we have Opera. We have Opera. Does Opera deal with Facebook. Let's find out. It's not uh, liking its own site very much. Oh no, here we go. Here we go. Let's just wait for a moment, see how it renders. It may well be the 16 color palette, which is slowing it down a bit now. Yeah, it's asking us to upgrade, but we won't be able to run it. Yeah. <laughs> so let's, let's start with this and see where it gets us. I wonder if I'm in swap. Another... Oh, this has tabs. Yes. Yes, um, the, the Opera Whoa. was... Uh, actually, we should find go fi find out what version of Opera it was they introduced it in. Um, I, as long as I've been using Opera, they've had tabs, and that was the thing which made me go, "Wow, I must have this browser." Is well, considering it that they recently, uh, considering that they recently announced that they're going to switch over to WebKit. Yeah, I heard about that. Right. Uh, okay. Well. Um... Oh, look at this. Oh, no. It's trying. I think I might have to get rid of net, uh, some of the Netscape windows. Um, that can go. We succeeded with that. 
What's that? Um, I'm going to bookmark this. So in hindsight, really, uh, Opera was far superior. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, Opera was way ahead of their game at this time. Is that a Facebook page we have there? It's starting to look a bit like it, doesn't it? I uh, mean, it does, it does have the HTTPS. Oh! Hey, we think we have it. Awesome. Oh, okay. come on. You're going to... Oh. This is, <laughs> this, is retro, this is retro cool, because <laughs> if you look at the color palette that it's actually using, you know, this is, uh, this is hilarious. Okay, so first we're just going to let everyone have a glimpse of this so we can see it. And then what I'm going to get you to do um, is just talk while I put in my uh, credentials because yeah, uh, sure, my sure. email address will be in here. Uh, on, actually, I just need to even think about what it is. Ah, I remember. Okay, you can talk away for a little bit now. This is, this is, this is absolutely hilarious, the fact that you could actually run today's version of, uh, of Facebook. Uh, uh, you've got the ad. Uh, you know, on on such a browser on such a machine. I mean, this is this is really. Uh... So basically, you would be able then to have your grandma communicate with you with that, you know, really really old four eight six that could still be running. Uh, as long, I think you got away too much. As long as you were actually having her use Opera. Well, that was the thing I used to do, was I used to, um, uh, yeah, I used to put Opera on people that had really old computers, I'd stick uh, Opera on there, and uh, uh, I would actually put it in the, uh, on a lot of people, I'd, I would actually put it in the compatibility, so not compatibility, I forget what they called it, but basically there was a mode where it would make it behave more like other browsers, so it would take away the tabs and... Uh, there were a few other things that would take away, and it just meant that it behaved more like what they were used to, and then they wouldn't be scared of it. And then, uh, if they were keen to learn more later on, then I'd go and turn those features back on for them. Uh, right, give me a sec. I think you got a Y too much, like it's both of my sub Y. So this will fail. Oh, blimey. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's try that again. I, I, think, I think that the message that you should post on Facebook is the YouTube video of how you actually, the URL for the YouTube video of how you actually manage to do that. You are absolutely right. You know. What? It, it took it took a bit of time. I think we've been we've been busy with it for the for the last forty minutes or so. Yeah, but, quite likely. But uh, but I think it's it's absolutely hilarious that um, you know you could actually use well actually we know we know we have a post functionality because otherwise yes. we wouldn't have gotten to this to the screen. Now let's see how it fares inside the Facebook page, and we would need to also test how does uh, Yahoo uh, and uh, Google do actually on this browser later on. Yeah, yeah. But oh my God! Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Did that come up onto? Was that up full screen there at all? Uh, well, slightly. <laughs> <laughs> I might end up changing my Facebook password after this. Change, change, the, oh, change the Facebook password before you post a video and you'll be fine. Well, the video is up live, um, but there was only half of it. So, no, but it's not public yet, is it? Uh, it's streaming live. No, but it's not the video on YouTube. It's not public. Uh, you first stream it and then you say, I want to make it public. That could explain why we've got no viewers.
Okay. So it'll be on Just my uh, channel. See if I can find it there. I can't even see it on my channel. Goodness me. Yeah, uh, because. Uh, and I, I would have thought I would be able to see it at least. No, but you need to stop the recording and then it, it actually makes it available because you may want to edit it. Which I'm not too sure we want to do because we're having too much fun with this, but. Uh, um, yeah, I, would, I think I'd probably leave the whole thing in and maybe make a highlights video or something of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, anyway, let's uh, let's get this. Have another go. Let's see why it didn't work. Actually, I'm just going to type this on the laptop keyboard itself. Yeah, but you need to put the email. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, I figured. Um, ah, that's why. Um, because I put in uh, .com rather than co.uk. Okay, and now I'll get you to type again, uh, talk again, if I may. Yeah, yeah, no problem. That's all good. So yes, we're about to actually uh, we're about to actually sign on from the other side of the time barrier onto modern day Facebook. <laughs> the help of an Opera browser, which was from what ninety seven. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was 97. Oh, look at that. It's happening. <laughs> it's, yes. It's happening. <laughs> Blimey. Do you reckon the chat function runs? I should turn it on and we can try it. I keep it turned off most of the time. It, yeah, it shows you're. It doesn't say you're online. Yeah, no, it won't yet. All right, let's just see. Is, okay, the computer is it still running? It is. That's fine. So, oh yes, yes, we can see, but slowly still appearing. Now, if we go into here and then here, can you go? Do you have any tools to make? Uh, Screenshots. Um, yes. So why? I was expecting a lot more. There we go. Um, maybe the. Oh, okay, five seconds. Let's make that. Actually, the the CPU loads much lower than I was expecting. I wonder why it's taking so long. Hmm. Interesting, indeed. Uh, do you think it's actually still loading, or it just choked on the fact that there's no JavaScript? The, there is stuff slowly appearing. So if I come back down... Because I, I would expect most of the functionality of the page to be in JavaScript, so... You could be right. And since we've had to disable it because that really was a no-go, um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to do a post. Right. Um, well, no, no, no. We disabled it in. Um, we disabled it in. In Netscape. Yeah. Okay. So, um, actually, maybe. Give me a sec. I'm just going to see what that notification is uh, here. Huh. I have no idea what that is, but anyway. Um, I think it would be quite interesting to try um, to try a new version of Opera. Well, we can also give that for the next session. Oh yeah. Since we know that then directly it works, but do you, do you think these would still be capable of posting or not? I don't know. Um, it's not. Uh, 
you don't no, very much. Have, I mean, you have the search bar at the beginning, but you don't have the what's on your mind uh, box. I yeah. think that would be too ajaxy for, uh, for this browser. Yeah, no, I think I think this one doesn't want to go. Well, that in mind, let's, uh, actually, let's just, ooh, ah, interesting. Okay, so now let's see, I think we can add, there we go, add an item. And if we come to memory and we go, uh, let's say here and see what it says. Surely we're using more than that. Oh, hang on. This is rather interesting. If I just come out of this for a sec, I'm not sure you'll be able to see this. Um, no, you can't see it. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, so that is why it's going so slow. It is actually into swap. Um, so I've got 64 megs allocated and we're using 70 something. Ah, uh, okay. So um, that's, that's a VM. Yep, so what I might quickly do is just uh, reboot it, um, give it uh, 256, and um, then uh, we can continue on. Okay, so I think we can uh, yeah, try that. Yeah, so that, this will only take me a few moments to do. Uh, actually, we will save that. Um, Oh, come on. Please wait while your Windows 95 shuts down. It's been such a long time, I hadn't seen that. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to give it, we're going to make that 256. Oh, by the way, we haven't introduced ourselves. Uh, that one over there is Kevin Sandham, and I'm, my name this is Juan Hi. And this is me here. He's over somewhere in London, and I'm somewhere in the Netherlands, and we just decided to give it a spin to uh, on a Windows 95 box, uh, see what happens. If uh, we could actually try to post something onto uh, Facebook from uh, Windows 95. So far, we have managed to actually see the page without most of its content, and the only browser that could do that so far was Opera. All other browsers were far, far worse than getting anything like that. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's a. Uh, oh, also, is that uh, is that is that icon the little Netscape uh, talky thingy? I I think it is. I was thinking that that won't be helping our own situation. Yeah, that's the Netscape thing in the Bob. Cool talk, yeah. Okay, then let's just quit that. <laughs> Probably that network's not very alive these days. Uh, I will say no to that. So it's interesting that uh, Opera is slow right from the start. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. it did remember which page we were at, you know. I mean, that's uh, respect, huh? Yeah, indeed. I'll probably have to log in again. There. Mm. Do you think so? So, how much memory are we using this time? Yeah, so you see uh, we're in a much better position now, uh, we realize. Okay, so now, close that, please. I just had a thought, oh no, we're going to lose all of our, um, uh, Yeah, I was going to say we could disable images, but we're going to lose all of our um, functionality. Uh, so we're going to lose. We're going to not be able to see. If you disable images, you're not going to have much. Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh yes, that is that is going. Um, in uh, when you've got more colours available, this looks a lot better. What I might do for the next one, there is a driver that you can install for 
uh, Windows 95 and 98 in uh, running inside VirtualBox, which gives you a much better color palette, and that's said to improve the performance quite a lot. The, 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 the performance improvement, yes. The color palette, I don't think so. You know, yes. because this this is this is part of the experience. <laughs> oh, you, I see. So you don't want to, you don't want to have the full color palette then. No, because if you have full color, if you have full colors or things like that, then then you know you you sort of that it doesn't look the same. I think the two fifty six color could be worth uh, doing because we'll still get all the palette uh, conflicts and uh, hits and misses, but we'll. Uh, uh, at least we'll get a little bit faster speed out of it, so it's not dithering every pixel. Yeah, but this is, I mean, this is supporting HTTPS, so this is okay. Mm -hmm. And what you could do is try to search, for example, for me, and, uh, um, and then post something on my wall, because then that functionality may actually work. That's a good point. So let's start here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Okay, no, that's <laughs> definitely the JavaScript. <laughs> <Not true. laughs> oh, but look at this. This is actually making an attempt on... Uh, on uh, this could actually produce some viable functionality. Um, and actually, your idea before of going to the mobile version could also be quite... Um, this uh, the mobile version viable. would be very usable, I think, from this kind of browser. Let's try that. See, CPU is not entirely surprising considering what we're doing. Uh, memory is actually in a really healthy state right now. Yeah. But as, uh, as Tannenbaum says, software is not a solid, it's actually a gas. So it will <laughs> all try to fill up as much of the container that you give it. <laughs> uh, but you notice uh, what we have right here. Yes, that is a posting box. Well, this is a posting box. Okay, so let's. Oh, hang on. I just worked out. I just thought how to make this really evil. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's so not. Oh no, that simply is not going to work. <laughs> you're just gonna bunch. You're just gonna have a bunch of graphical things that are barely going to resemble the page, but you're not going to have any functionality. Yeah, we're, we're not... We're, oh, but at not, least yeah. it does give a valid error a message, so basically YouTube is properly made. <laughs> Hang on, what does it suggest? Actually, the... Uh, no. oh, you want to try and install? You want to try and install Chrome on it? I was thinking it could be interesting. I think the chances of it running are so low that it could no, be... no. It's, it, come on, even even on uh, on newer versions of my Internet Explorer, it was not running. So uh, what does? Well, uh, if you, if it only relied on really the basic subset of Win32, perhaps. But yeah. I still did. Whoops, that's not what I was trying to do. We're just going to wait here for a moment. So, uh, actually, before we continue, um, <laughs> bookmark your browser is depreciated. Please upgrade. <laughs> I'm just going to close off this since that's not working, um, and hopefully that's going to ease up the load a bit. Ah, now there is another optim optimization we can do here. Um, if we go, is it preferences? Let's just go in and turn off a few things. Um, so one, oh, hang on, cancel out of that.
Uh, so if we go back into appearance, and that one, has it done it? Oops. Okay, I need to untick that again. And then we want to go to Windows Native. And we go OK. Ah, yeah, that sort of renders a bit better. OK, and... But also in terms of browser, this was, the, I mean, if you compare the, the, the amount of the size of the toolbars at the top that you had on Netscape. Yeah. And on this, and the fact that you have tabs, really, Opera was ahead, well ahead of its league. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, okay, so what I want to do is go and um, uh, go to chrome.google.com. Do you reckon that's going to be... I don't think it's going to work, but I want to see. Do you so reckon we're going to be able to download it? <laughs> I don't know. I want to see whether it's even going to... Uh, well, well, if they're going to say something intelligent about it. Um, and... What, like, do you, wanna, do you want to obliterate your Windows 95 and install Chrome OS instead? Yeah. That, would be, that would be the clever thing to say. Um, but the other thing I'm wanting to see is just what are the requirements of Chrome? I don't think it's going to run on Windows 95. Okay, so we have a Terms of Service. Um, So, oh, I think we have to go over to this one. Notice also the Google search uh, thing in there as well. I hope you're not just going to say what's optimal as opposed to what is actually required. I don't think Windows 95 would be on that list. <laughs> I don't think it will be under the optimal requirements. Certainly not. <laughs> Minimal requirements. Windows 95 with one meg of RAM. Yay. <laughs> I don't think that's what it says, I'm guessing. No, definitely not. And I don't think you would be able to run 95 on the one meg of RAM. I agree. You could three run dot, it on 4. 3.1 dot one, three dot one may have choked on it, but uh, 95 definitely not. Um, I used to run 3.1 on 2 megs of RAM, and that ran, um, it ran OK. Uh, Windows 95, I ran on 4 megs of RAM. That was a struggle, but it did work. Yeah. This uh, this is really um, not going at any great speed. Actually, I'm getting the impression this is coming to a halt. Um, why would that be? Because our memory looks healthy. Is there a certain amount of RAM which is the maximum that uh, a process can have allocated to it in Windows 95? Do you know? Sorry, can you repeat that? Um, see, uh, in some OSs you can limit how much memory can be allocated to an individual process, even though you have lots of memory available. 
Do you know um, that was not available on Windows? Uh, things like the Acorns, or uh, or um, you can do that on certain Unixes if you have certain if you have the patches. Like if you, you have the accounting and, and and restrictions on the on the things, you can tighten them up uh, the OS. But on Windows, I don't think it was available. Yeah, you can specify the overall system uh, virtual memory, but not per process. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a sort of weird uh, application domain in the one in which you need to restrict, and it sort of became a requirement when cloud stuff started appearing because you then had different type, as part of the hyper management that hypervisor does. Then you can actually give to different uh, to different uh, guests OSs yep. different uh, capabilities, but it's fairly recent that that has been available as a feature. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can set U limits, which have been available for quite a while. Uh, that was the sort of thing I was thinking about. Um, but never on Windows. Yeah. It, yeah was not, okay. it was not designed to be a, a, a really multi-user. So if one of your programs was taking, hogging up all the memory, well, then it's because you needed it. Yep. <laughs> yep, no, that's fine. Um, the uh, You notice here that uh, Windows 95 is uh, quite explicitly not on the list of uh, requirements. Yeah, but even even then, it's asking for an Ubuntu 10.4, which yeah. is old, but it's not as old as uh, as Windows 95. Like Ubuntu <laughs> it's was like 15 years difference. Uh, sorry, 14 years difference. Exactly. So, no, that's simply not going to happen. Yeah. And then... Uh, Okay, so um, I'm just going to uh, let this window close. There we go, and I'm going to get this window closed. Um, so I wanted to post the uh, video that we're doing here, but um, uh, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to make a post. I might well, may well delete it, and then uh, well, depending uh, depending on the reaction. Um, do yeah. do do a post. Do a post advertising that uh, this was uh, this is actually a time. Uh, you know, it's uh, you, you're posting is from the from the from the past of Windows ninety five. Um. Oh, I, I, all I'm thinking of is lame stuff. Um. Um. Almost all of my friends on Facebook are not going to get this. <laughs> What do you think of it? I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's that's good. I like that. Uh, let's have a look at what you have. Uh, greetings, Earthlings. This is how the internet looks like a Windows 95 watch. Oh, yeah. um, actually, that's a good point. Watch the space for a video. Um, I will put a link. Uh, I will put a link in the comments uh, to it. And actually, you've just made me. Uh, this has just made me think of something here. I need to put this on Google Plus. Also, yeah. So that's that's a okay. So that's the challenge for the next bit. Does Google Plus work on the same bit? Because Google uh, is much <laughs> I don't know. more. Because well, I, this is Google. Bear in, mind, bear in mind that now you're running the mobile site of Facebook. So See, I don't. I'm not sure what the mobile like mobile site of uh, of um, of Google Plus looks like because I I've never it. used it. I've only used the app. I have two contradicting opinions on it. One is that uh, Google Plus um, feels a lot more lightweight and clean than Facebook does to me. Yeah, uh, but it still, relies, it still relies on JavaScript. It does. 
But uh, the the other side of it is and that it's, um, uh, it's also done by a company which is very um, that very much pushes for keeping things up to date and uh, have all the latest patches installed and all that type of stuff. Um, and simply, like you look at their history when uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, they, they sort of said, hey, look, we just aren't going to support it anymore. Upgrade your browser. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, it's possible that deep down in the, li in the code libraries that, uh, that Google would be using to build most of the web apps, they actually have a check, you know, like, uh, if, you're not, if you're not one of these browsers, then forget about it. You will never happen. Yep. And that is very possible that that's part of the core functionality that they will reuse among their apps. It would actually make perfect sense. And that's, and that's yeah. something that Google actually does pretty well, is like really uh, focus on having the libraries do the things properly, like filtering out versions of browsers that are not supported and things like that. Yes. We all saw it when Google Wave came out and so on. It was simply not, uh, it was simply not available on all browsers. And, it would, and it would, although it was alpha, it would tell you to get lost. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, it's possible that uh, we will not manage to go as far as this with uh, Google Plus. But uh, I'm uh, I'm here on my Facebook, waiting for you to uh, right for your post. So let's share this. Then I will look like. Uh, <laughs> I just noticed. See, uh, I can't point to it. And did that come up? Notice how the uh, picture is coming up in 16 color. Yep. <laughs> Anywho, um, so let's let's load up uh, and see what this does. Let's start. Oh, this is indeed interesting. So, after this experiment, are you then ready to uh, only use uh, Windows 95 at work? <laughs> oh, that would be so funny to try and use it as your main desktop again. Um, okay, I'm just going to unshare the. The the I'm um, on Google Plus. You do actually see the the Hangout that is actually set as a, uh, as a private Hangout. So that's why more not more people are joining. Understood. Um, I created it, didn't I? So I need to make it public. Yeah. Um, give me a sec. I will just go and do that. But how did you manage to log on onto uh, the Windows page? Um, I've, I've just unshared it while I put in my credentials because I realised even though I was getting you to talk, it wasn't. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Um, how do I? How do I make a? Oh no! How do I make this public? Uh, don't know. I imagine it's in settings, but that's all related to my uh, settings on the computer rather than the. Um, It's computer settings rather than the um, 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 the hangout settings. Hmm. Oh, it should be it should be something in the in the hangout settings. Can, can I get you to research that while I try logging into Google Plus? Yeah, sure. Thank you.
Yksi. <laughs> Yksi. So that didn't get anywhere. No, no, that, did, that, no, that didn't get anywhere, but at least it, it failed gracefully. Yes. Yes, and uh, the computer isn't spinning out doing it either. Let's have a quick look at... Uh, oh, that's... Yeah. Uh, that's good. Yep, so you can see its uh, its resources aren't too bad there. Um, all right, so I guess you need to. I guess you need to. Um, Yes, you edit then the Hangout when it's complete, and then after that you get you get the link on YouTube in which you can actually share it. So all that we can do for the moment is actually invite people to this Hangout if they want to join the conversation. But right. the publishing will actually happen once you've actually um, stopped, and then you ed do the editing if you want to, and then, then the video becomes available on YouTube probably. Uh, understood. So I should have made it public to begin with. Is uh, no, no, that is that is perfectly correct. The Hangout can't be private. But, yeah, yeah. but the, the video the, can be made public afterwards with no problems. It's just yeah, yeah, but you, you, can make it, you can make it public to begin with, though, is what, what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, like, and um, then it's an open Hangout, and then people could have been appearing on and off uh, yeah. during, this, during this whole thing. Oh well, that's fine. We can do that another time. Um, okay, so I am. We've got Facebook going. Uh, we haven't got Plus going. Still I'm, uh, checking for your um, for your post. I haven't seen your post yet. That's a good point. Because I can't see it on my wall yet either. Uh, your status has been updated. I, I have seen it. Yes, I have seen it now. I have successfully used time travel. I'm posting these from Windows 95. Post a video soon. And I just liked it. Uh, very good. There we go. I see it. So, yes. And actually, on that note, hang on. Let's just quickly clink. You also notice the size difference of uh, my mouse cursor compared to the one that uh, mm. you have back then. Yep. Although, actually, the mouse cursors haven't changed that much. I just use a really, really big one. I guess that notification is the, yeah, I like. Yep. So it is possible then to post from Windows 95 onto a message onto Facebook. The only way to do it is to use the mobile website and rely on the most, one of the most advanced browsers at the time, which was actually Opera. So. Actually, we could. Uh, what would be quite interesting is to just keep on upgrading, see what the latest uh, browser we can run is on this. Uh, because now that we have a, we uh, the internet. You, you works. reckon then that perhaps Google Plus would be available? I think no. I because think I think Google Plus is really is really. I mean, the whole of the Google infrastructure would would actually be more uh, more picky. About uh, about the minimal client because they're really relying on HTML5 features and so on. So, though some of the stuff yep. may not but be supported, uh, they would monitor more the versions that they're running. So you, you would still be filtered out. It was version ten, as I say, version twelve, which I tried to run on um, on the other on the other virtual machine, and that didn't work. But the only thing it complained about was a missing. DLL. So it may well be that we could go up a couple of major versions and it might actually work. It is possible indeed. It is shall, possible. We, shall we give it a quick go? I reckon the, uh, the Opera page, whoops, okay, so that shortcut is different um, in here. Um, in the uh, older versions, um, the Control N was actually a new tab uh, because then they were trying to get people to use tabs rather than uh, Windows. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's go to opera.com forward slash download. How are you for time, by the way? Um, I should be. I should be actually. Uh, 
getting on and getting some food and oh. uh, heading heading on to work and actually fix my Linux box to work. So uh, it's it's still okay. It's two thirty here in the afternoon, so I still have a bit of uh, a bit of daylight and and time. But yep. uh, I shouldn't I shouldn't be uh, spending another hour on this. Understood. Well, um, we've we've got a very specific result uh, now. Um, do you want do you want to try the step, or would you like to? Do, well, let's try. You... Let's try. Let's try one more version because the downloads are actually going pretty quickly. Yeah, and and, uh, and it doesn't hurt to try one more version. Yeah, uh, but yeah, twelve version twelve is not going to work. Yeah, ver version twelve didn't work. <laughs> Uh, so I just need to find. Uh, actually, here let's fire up Netscape. We'll grab the bookmark. Ah, uh, was it Netscape that I bookmarked in, or was it? Uh, it was yes, Netscape. it was Netscape. Because Netscape, Netscape was still, I mean, Internet Explorer even then sucked. Yeah. Uh, Netscape, we got a bit better, but you really needed to disable the. The Windows, uh, the, the the JavaScript, and that's yep. how it became usable. Uh, and Opera, yeah, it's just the look and feel of the icons that is sort of sucky. But uh, you know that that's that's the resolution you had. So well, uh, no, that, that, that's because I'm in the. Um, uh, that's because I'm displaying um, sort of sixteen million color JPEGs um, on a sixteen color display. Yeah, but sixteen color, sixteen color was an option on the on that operating system, which was perfectly valid for the time. So, uh, you know, the, it was the, it was yeah. But by the time, Opera, yeah, yeah. I remember there's a couple of years difference between the the version of Opera we're using and the uh, uh, and, and the, the, the Opera. Yeah. So now that's oh yeah yeah now this I think they had the download manager in this by then. Uh, and the scroll does that? No, the scroll doesn't work because the operating system doesn't support it. Um, so we got six, seven, and we've got we tried the latest version of eight. I reckon ten could be a good bet. You have frozen up. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm still here. I just got a got a message. Oh, okay, cool. From a friend. Cool. So while you're doing that, uh, I think the latest version of ten would be a good bet. There we go. We're going to go for English. And what have we got here? There we go, I can see it now. Now, 2010, that's far too modern. Um, I think it would be interesting to try. Or, or you reckon it's going to be actually coded properly and, in, and have its own uh, libraries and things like that? Ah, I'm, I'm optimistic. Um, but the thing I'm thinking here is uh, what is the difference between E and, and Classic? I'm going to go with, uh, well, unless Classic is, I'm going to choose Classic in this, in this case. It might make a difference or it might not. Well, just the fact that you have a pop-up like that, you know, the whole internet experience, instead of having to FTP your files across like we were doing at the beginning of this, uh, you know. Yeah. Much, much better. Uh, let's go into here. Um, I can't bother going to find the uh, desktop. Yeah, it's under. It was under files. Uh, was it? Yeah. But it's oh. Okay. oh yes, this has a download manager. Yep. Ooh. Now, hopefully, we're going to get a bit faster. There we go. I mean, compared to the speeds we were having before, this is still a bit. You know. Slow. It is. But uh, 
Yeah, this this one's pushing the limits of the uh, computer, uh, sorry, of the uh, of ninety five a bit more. But I think uh, most of the most of the lag and stuff we're experiencing, I'm almost positive that's because we're in sixteen color. Yes. I mean. 32, 30, 35, really, this is a... Uh... Yeah, we, we got up to 100 on the fastest one. Okay, and also this is bigger, I mean, this is 10 megs, this is twice the size of the first hour. Yeah. Um. And I remember back uh, when I first got my 33 point, uh, uh, is that 33.6? I think I think it's thirty three point six kbps modem, and uh, we downloaded, uh, we we transferred between two people in the same town, uh, one meg in the space of like twenty minutes or something like that, and we we're just like, wow, that was so fast. Yep. Twenty meg nowadays onto a mobile phone. Yeah. You could still do that faster. Yep. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Yeah, oh. let's go sandwich, get coffee, la 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 la. This yeah. Is How clear is this showing up on your on the screen? Uh, I'm seeing it. It's pretty clear. Is it Actually, online? You can read. I mean, it does. It does sometimes uh, get on a, a bit fuzzy, but right. uh, at the moment, the whole the whole pretty much thing has been pretty clear. Right. Yeah, because when I see the preview of it, I'm just seeing like. Uh, an expanded thumbnail, so it looks as though the whole thing's pretty shabby. No, no, but it's it's okay. Yeah. Just need to rotate to avoid the sun. Ah, uh, understood. Nearly there, seventy-eight. Yeah. <laughs> But well, oh, it does actually it does actually tell you that it's one minute, so you know. Yeah. What is this time? Actually now download managers has have sort of disappeared. Like you get you get yeah. just a progress bar in one way or the other inside your browser. The yep. whole of the of the top part has actually been reduced because that's also what happens in the current Firefox and in current Chrome. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, I actually, Opera still has the download manager on it, and I still use it for that reason. Well, the problem is that whenever I've had a download manager, I've never been capable of really resuming a download. Okay. It so, depends on, like, the site has to support it. Yeah, but then how many sites do support it? And I remember yeah. the time in which companies like Sun, which have been now been globed out by uh, by Oracle and so on, had their own Java download managers that you had to do and so yeah, on. And, and all of that yeah. stuff. Um, but the the point really the point, lacked the functionality to actually just resume a, a a download, which actually worked. Yeah. And it it could resume, and you could get a full file with the same data. But then, if your data, if you if your file was corrupt afterwards, uh, you know. That could still happen. See, the thing which is really attractive for me for this is even if it's not resumable, I've got all of the downloads that I'm doing uh, sitting in one place, and then um, I can, uh, yeah, I, I've got everything there. I can see whether it's finished or not, and I can just simply clear off the stuff which isn't. Uh, yeah, but you got you got the same you got the same functionality with the bottom part of the of the Chrome. But then that's getting in the way. Um, I, I'm like, if I'm downloading more than about four things at a time, then I'm not. Uh, that, then it's getting cramped, and I'm not seeing that much information. Like I actually have to go and mouse over to get any useful information. Yeah, out of it. that's true. Uh, yep. Actually, this is. What will it? I'm being naughty and keeping it running here. This could be quite interesting to see what it does. Okay. It actually checks. 
So does that key work? It does. Oh, that's well behaved. Yeah. OK, so let's just let it settle for a moment and just see what it looks like. So you can see there, that'll be where I closed it. That correlates quite well there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, um, it's the so itself. Now I'm specifically not moving the mouse just to see what it does. OK, so you can see the, the load monitor itself was taking up a bit as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. That's so cool seeing the load in the background like that. Uh, it, it, it's cool just seeing one of these progress bars again, you know? Because <laughs> that's actually what you spend most of your time actually doing, you know, waiting for these progress bars to work. Uh, to yeah. Start. Uh, we will do that. Ah! <laughs> Clonk! I broke it, Mama! Clonk! Okay, so let's see. I imagine uh, the old icon will have been replaced. Yep, so I'm going to have to uninstall that and then I'll go and reinstall the other oh, one. Oh, you don't need to uninstall. You got the, the old installer which is in your downloads folder on your desktop, so you just need to reinstall that. I'm thinking about uh, leaving muck behind, although it doesn't really matter on this. Uh, it's a VM, you know. Um, and anyhow, you cannot have Windows without muck. It's just not compatible. <laughs> <laughs> At least not true. these versions. I don't know about Windows 8. I mean, I haven't touched that stuff yet, so and I don't think I'm going to anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. No, it actually came um, on my laptop, and um, uh, I... Uh, um, I put a, I took out the hard disk and put on an SSD as my uh, first task. So it never even got to the bootloader of Windows. Does your laptop have a touchscreen then? It does not. It's okay. uh, it's um, blah. It's an Asus. Uh, I took off the sticker. Absolutely. K55A, okay. and it's it's one, I, I generally recommend it, it's a pretty huge thing, which um, is very different from what I normally go for, um, but it runs beautifully, um, despite Argos having, uh, because I just bought it from Argos, because I, I sort of saw it there, went and researched the model to sort of see what it's, uh, the spec is and everything, and it was like, okay, yeah, that, that looks pretty reasonable. I looked at the CPUs, and it sort of said, okay, in this type of laptop, it can be an i3, an i5, or an i7. I thought, okay, well, any of those I'd be pretty happy with. And so anyway, uh, I bought it, got it home, and uh, it looks like that's one of the things Argos has cheaped out on. They've uh, put an, uh, a Celeron in there. Yeah. So it's, uh, uh, it's 1.7 gigahertz, so it's not terrible, but... Uh, uh, yeah, so there's there's a few things that they've cheaped out on there, um, but uh, other than that, no, it's a uh, it's a pretty good okay. laptop. Oh, cool. Uh, what was my point of all of that? I we you asked something. The idea was to try and reinstall the last version of Opera. Yeah. Oh no, I was just thinking about the tangent there. Um, this is probably a pretty good uh, point to stop unless yeah. you. Uh, no, yeah. no, I need to I need to get some food. And then yeah. uh, I need to head on to, to uni. Yeah. So let's let's do that. Um, I'll uh, call you back in just a moment. Okay.